Hi guys! So I finally have my annual Christmas haul for 2018 and I'm so excited. It was our first Christmas in our new house. It was very wholesome. Had a lot of stops to make this year. I think we went to six places. It was intense. There was a lot of Christmas going on this week, but it's all over with and we can enjoy and indulge in our presents and I'm so excited. You guys can see some of the stuff back here, but um, I have everything from my mom and dad. I have everything from Brandon and I also have what I spent some of my Christmas money on over there, which really isn't that much. I'm going to of course start off with everything that my parents got me, then go into everything that Brandon got me, and then go into the things that I bought. So I want to get started. There's a lot of goodies here and a lot of stuff related to my channel, obviously. The first thing, I literally cried when I got this, but it is the 5 Seconds of Summer 2019 wall calendar. And this is pretty hard to find. I wanted to find it on Amazon for my mom to order. Um, I could not, so I just, you know, said forget it. I can't find it anywhere. But it's very, very simple. Um, they love using the cover photo. Literally, it goes two months as a design, cover photo, two months, cover photo, two months, cover photo, two months, cover photo. They use the same picture four times in this calendar, which is a bit much, but it's, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> they tried, I guess. So yeah, this is actually a Australian calendar. Um, on the bottom it says Australia, Australian $25 and New Zealand $30. So I don't even know how much this was. And it did come with a keychain, which I don't know where the keychain is. But you guys can see, this is how the calendar looks. It's very more like thematic and like for looks to hang up versus like being useful because you can't really like write like, oh, doctor's appointment, unless you have silver Sharpie. But at the same time, you're gonna ruin the poster as well. And I usually like to use my five sauce posters and I don't touch the pictures. So I just write on the days. But for these, I'll just have them hanging up. I think it looks really, really nice, but Here's a gist, here's Callum, very cute. Imagine Dragons Origins. I asked for this before I heard the album because I heard Bad Liar and Machine. It was like, all right, I'm obsessed, I need to get this. But I have to admit, you guys were wondering what my thoughts were on the album. I do like to post mini reviews on my Twitter, so if you don't follow me on Twitter, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Um, I might start doing it in the community tab on YouTube as well, so that way you guys can go ahead and chime in your thoughts and opinions. Overall, I didn't really love this album, but I did find myself having a lot of the songs stuck in my head, even if I didn't really like them, and then them becoming one that I liked, like Bullet in a Gun. That just always gets stuck in your head. If you listen to this album, that song will get stuck in your head, and then you're pretty much screwed for the rest of the day. Uh, but personally, I really like the deluxe version and all the bonus track, but Birds was definitely my favorite song off of the whole entire album. Um, and I did also really enjoy West Coast, which I know some people were really um, confused by. Overall, a decent album, and I did enjoy it more than Evolve, so that's why I did also want to add it to my collection. But spoiler alert, I ended up buying Evolve on vinyl as well, so that way I had all of their albums. Yeah, but I, I did enjoy it, just not as much as I have past albums, but again, more than Evolve, so it's a step up for me. My mom got me a Disney Showcase Collection, Jim Shore Collaboration. I don't know, you guys can be able to guess what this is. I'll give you a hint, it goes in my shirt. This was one of the last ones that I needed, so now I have three. I absolutely love it. This is Pongo, and this is Rolly, and I don't know who this little girl is up at the top, but she's a very, very, very cute puppy, and it looks really, really nice. I really, really love it. I love the coloration. I love the design of it. And I cannot wait to put it with my other ones from the Jim Shore collection. Alright, going along with the Dalmatian theme here. Let's just get these out of the way. I did get my second order of Funko Pops. I did an unboxing on these if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. Um, I did get my own personal set and then I wanted another set to just keep in box. My dad actually bought me this, which I've been looking for for a while now. It is the um, Hot Wheels Disney Collaborations. 
And this is the 101 Dalmatians one. I absolutely love this little van. Um, it is a Ford Transit super van. And it's got the picture of Pongo and Purdy and all the puppies laying down on it. And then on the back, you've got the classic couch picture. Um, a lot of people actually have this as a tattoo. It's very popular. Um, I did get this 101 Dalmatian shirt. This is from Box Lunch. Um, we actually went to a mall that's a little bit further away. And they had a bunch of Box Lunch store. And I've never been in one before, but I've heard a bunch of YouTubers talk about it. It's pretty expensive. I saw this in the store and I really wanted it, but I didn't get it. I bought a different shirt, which you guys will see later. So I told my mom about it and she ordered it and it is this white 101 Dalmatian shirt. And then she also got me this long sleeve, which says 101 Dalmatians on it. Very, very cute with a little Dalmatian running through the zero. And then on the sleeve, it's got a bunch of puppies. And the only ones that I can recognize are Lucky and um, Patch. I don't know who these other ones are. That should be all the Dalmatian stuff. Unless you want to count this, she did buy me a pair of um, pet nail clippers for Cinder. My mom got me a shower wrap and it is a cactus, cacti. So cute, I really, really like it. I think it's adorable and I'll definitely be wearing this around the house. I love having like your own house and being able to walk around and stuff like this or like robes and everything. It's really, really nice. And then we also got another flashlight, but this one is also a pocket charger, so it actually charges your phone as well. So we thought these would be really nice to keep in the cars. And then my mom actually got me a set of three mugs, and they are all this old vintage Dalmatian mug. And I'm so happy to have these. I can't wait to actually use them. Ooh, they smell like flowers. It smells like they came from like a old lady's house, but they're very fresh smelling and they're in really, really good condition, but they all have the same design on them with the little puppies. I think this might be Lucky and then this one might be Penny, but very, very cute, very vintage Walt Disney 101 Dalmatians and on the bottom it does say Disney as well. These are really, really old mugs, you guys. I'm not sure if these are from the Disney store or how these came about, um, but she did get me a set of three. So here's another one, third one. So very cute, very well packaged. We saw these online together when I said I wanted to start getting more Disney mugs for the house and she found these and there was a set of three. So I think, I wonder if she bought that one. I'm not sure though. Little thermal, not little, but they're thermal bags for groceries for when we go grocery shopping. So I got an olive one because I love olive green and Brandon got an orange one. Some little knickknack things. My mom got me this Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Long Live Rock Iron On Patch for my denim jacket. And she also got me a Letter O Rock and Roll Hall of Fame magnet. Very, very cute. It's got music notes in it. Love that. Can't wait to add it to the fridge because we always need magnets. She got us another coaster. And she got us this vinyl style silicone coasters for set. And I love these. I think these are so cool. So they say long live rock in red or in white and they go together and they're just rubber vinyl. Very, very nice. They look like little records and I absolutely love them. She also had us a Puppies First Christmas 2018 Cinder ornament. She did give me a lot of beauty related things, so I'll go over those very quickly with you guys. She got me the Shawn Mendes Signature 2 Body Mist, which I already have, but I have been using it every day, so I can always use another one. Um, I love the body mist. They're super light and airy and I just love wearing them every day So I have one in my bedroom and I'll have one upstairs in the bathroom now And then she actually got me the Shawn Mendes Signature 2 Perfume and this is the one fluid out got me two peach bellini foaming mousse uh, antibacterial hand sanitizer Loves peach, so I can't wait to use these, and I absolutely love these. I have one by my desk and one in the bedroom, and I use it all the time. And she also got me a Twisted Peppermint Shea Butter Hand Cream. Mmm, I love peppermint. Some face masks. So we have 
a soothing sheet mask with oatmeal, gentle sheet mask with honey, rejuvenating sheet mask with pumpkin enzyme, and two shea butter sheet masks. She got me another Charmander pop socket because mine unfortunately doesn't stick anymore. Wonder Boy, the Dragon's Trap for the Nintendo Switch. I'm so excited to play this. I've been wanting to play this for a while. I've looked at some gameplays and some like like how there's retro mode and the new animation mode and it just looks so cute and fun and it's just one of those games that I kind of just want to waste time playing so I'm probably going to play this after I finish this video and I'm really excited about that. And the last thing that I got for my mom which is actually, well no that's a lie, she gave me this ring and it's got two little hearts on it, it's really really cute. The last present which is my big present which is for you guys and for me is the Canon PowerShot SX730HS. It's a vlogging camera! I'm so excited to be able to take this to concerts, um, like in arenas, like the 21 Pilots show that we have coming up, and maybe for my birthday I'll get an extra battery for this as well, but it is a very nice, simple camera. I think that it does a really good job, and you guys, the screen flips up so I can of course see myself when I vlog and the quality on here looks absolutely insane. It's super bright, super nice, the autofocus is amazing and I can't wait to actually be able to use this. Now it's time to get into everything that I caught from Brandon. We'll start with what I got in my stocking. So in my stocking I got lots of Burt's Bees chapsticks so we have pomegranate, hibiscus, and grapefruit came in one set, I'm pretty sure. And the other one came with peony, apricot, and watermelon. Then he got me one of my favorite mascaras, Voluminous Lash Paradise, and it was the duo, so it actually came with the primer, which I've never used before, so I'm so excited to have them together and to give it a shot. And then in my stocking, he also got me a 21 Pilots patch set, so this is from the Blurry Face era, really like these patches. And then he also got me a black 21 Pilots patch, and I'm saying black because if you pre-order the records, you get an olive version of this one, which I also have. And then I got this jumpsuit patch as well as the basic click logo. Of course, this one is doubled for the trench era. And to go with that, he did get me two 21 Pilots uh, buttons as well to put on my jacket. The other thing in my stocking, he got me a bunch of these uh, Funko Mystery Minis. Um, he actually bought me six of these and I bought one myself. And throughout the throughout December we were opening things from our stockings so I've got one of these basically every day um, well every other day every few days so I opened all the other ones prior to Christmas but this was the last one and it is Jack the Pumpkin King speaking of Nightmare Before Christmas he did buy me this from box lunch while we were in the mall it is zero in the doghouse, and look at how cute it is. And speaking of Fungo Pops, <laughs> I got Harry from Kingsman, so now I have um, three of them. The only one that I'm missing is Valentine, but I'm not really in a huge rush to get Valentine. I really wanted Harry and Eggsy the most, and I came across um, Gazelle in a clearance box because her box was destroyed, so she was only $5, so I picked her up because I just love the movie so much. And then I also got the FYE exclusive Kurt Cobain pop to go with my Ed Sheeran one. I would really, really like the Freddie Mercury one where he's wearing like the gold jacket. That's the only other pop that I really want and that way I'll have these three all next to each other, all cute on my little shelf. He got me the other Dalmatian shirt that I was mentioning earlier and it has the stripes on it and the cute little puppies look like they're falling off. So freaking adorable you guys. I love these shirts. They're very very soft. My Nightmare Before Christmas um, sleepwear three-piece pajama set and this is so soft you guys. I'm so excited to own this and it came with a pair of fuzzy socks and it's even better because they're Jack fuzzy socks but I love the pattern on this. A Starbucks um, like swell, oh it is a swell brand. Um, water bottle. I really love this design. I've wanted this design since I saw it and I think it was originally 
$49.99. It was crazy expensive. My When I told my mom and dad that I wanted it, they went to go see how much it was and they were like, not happening. But I just love the petal shape that's on it and I love how the mermaid is hidden among the flowers. I think it's super cute and I just love the mint color as well. And I'm excited about it. I finally have it. It was on sale for 20 bucks. These are the last three presents from Brandon, which I guess are my big presents because these are what I asked for for Christmas from him. So I got NF therapy session. So excited to finally have this. Got this. Um, I showed him it was on Amazon and he went ahead and ordered it. So now I own it it's in my record collection. But I did already open this one. Whoops. So excited to have this in my collection though. I've been getting so many records recently. You guys are gonna have the biggest record collection update of all. I literally doubled my collection since my last like record collection video. It is ridiculous. That will be out in January, so keep a lookout for that. The other one that I got was NF Perception. So I still need Mansion, but I'm not sure if that is on vinyl. Ooh. The back of this, it looks like little holes. This one isn't opened yet. I will open it soon, but I'm not gonna open it right now. And last but not least, the one, the only, the incredible true story by Logic. Finally have this in my collection. I've been wanting this for months. And I finally said, you know what? You wanna know what to buy me for Christmas? This is it. Oh my god. Look at it! I love it. It is a double LP. It did say this was the, the deluxe edition, but I'm not really sure what it what they mean by deluxe edition. It's not like anything special, I don't think. Leave it to me to forget a few things, but Brandon also got me this really cute hat. So adorable. It also is from Box Lunch and goes with the collection. So now I'm pretty sure that I own the entire Dalmatian collection from Box Lunch, which is absolutely amazing. He got me a robe to wear around the house. I love this. I'm so excited. It's royal blue. It's so soft and it's really, really nice. And it's just the little things like this. Like I can't wait to sit in my office and just be in my robe. Lastly, a pair of royal blue slippers to go with my robe. And I love the beading on these as well. They're super cute, super tight and comfy. <sighs> so that should be everything. I think I found the rest of the stuff, so we should be good now. So that is everything that I got from my parents and from Brandon. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into what I bought for myself. And let me tell you, this is why it was so much jeans you guys I wanted some new jeans mine have gotten so worn out and stretched out that they just aren't nice and like comfortable anymore and all the jeans at Old Navy were 25 or 50% off so I got this really really pretty blue color and I got this nice pale color and I got this one which almost looks the same, but it's not. It's kind of a mixture of the two. So it's like a lighter blue, but a little bit darker than this one. You see what I'm saying? It's a little more worn. And the last thing that I bought was the Deadpool 2 soundtrack. Um, another spoiler alert, our FYE is unfortunately closing so everything is discounted and I've bought in like eight records from there. Like it is a problem. And this is the one where I kept thinking like, you know, I should really get it. I like the soundtrack a lot. The movie's good. I should really pick up the soundtrack. And I was like, nah. And then with my Christmas money, I was like, gotta do it. So I finally bought it and I flipped through all the records today and I can officially say that there's not one left that I want. Yeah. Thanks for the good time, FYE. I love you and I'm gonna miss you, but there's still a few of you around. They're just really far away and I'll be paying you a visit for sure whenever I'm around. But super excited to have this 
and I really really like it. That is officially everything that I got for Christmas 2018. So many goodies, so much stuff. Um, I love that it was a lot of my hobbies from music to Dalmatians to records and um, you know some of the Funko Pops. Let me know in the comments down below one thing that you got for Christmas aka your favorite Christmas gift and let me know what I should film with my vlog camera. What would you guys be interested in seeing with my vlog camera? I love you guys. Happy holidays and I'll see you again very very soon. Peace out Girl Scouts.